So here's how I'm making my um, footer and my blog author links that go at the bottom of all my posts. So rather than copying and pasting this into every blog post um, and then having to edit it later on, I've used what's called sync blocks inside Notion to do that and then also use those for my footer menu. So here's a sync block, that's what I mean by a sync block. It means you can, you still have to copy and paste it into every page, but any edits I make to this, it syncs across every page that uses this. Now you can see here, it says it's being used on seven other pages. So I've still got to go through and add it to all of my blog posts um, and the same for the footer. So what I've done for the footer as well here, I created a little footer, it's got some links that still need updating um, and some CSS, which I'll do on the front end. Again, that's a synced block. If I click on this one, we should be able to see, you can see this says here, this is on 23 other pages. Oh, sorry, 49, it's going up as I'm clicking on there. So 49 other pages, I've still got to get that onto all the blog posts as well um, for my site. So I'll just do a couple now while I'm here. So you can see it's on seven other pages. All we do is we click copy and sync, and then we go back into our blog database. Now, what usually happens here is when I'm recording with Loom and I've got Notion running, they slow down, like they just bog down and start going really slow, which is um, a little bit annoying, but that's the whole thing of building these things in public as you start creating sites. So this is how I do um, the author and the footer link for all of my, all of my posts. Um, so here I, I'm inside Notion now, so you can see on the front end over here, this is the main Popsy site. This is inside of Notion. And what I need to do, I could put it into, I guess a list view might be quicker. Um, and then we'll just start going into each of these pages. I've got a feeling that I've done probably the first seven, so let's have a look. You can still see it spinning here and loading. Okay, the images have pulled through there. So let's just um, click on one of these. Let's click on this one. Because it's really, really slow. I think it's just because my machine is, my Mac is being, all the resources are being used up for filming or recording. Let's scroll down here. You can see this one's been done. So all we do is we just paste it in and you know that's, we then got our footer or our author bio. So you wanna do this for your blog posts if you're manually doing it. Um, let's click on another one down here. Let's click on this one. So I think I've got like, I think there's a hundred and something posts. I need to go through and do this on all of the, all of the posts. Um, look, here's the correct URL of my pages. So I pulled that in, I can see the correct URL, so I need to fix that and make sure it's actually not that page um, actually on Popsy. This one's taking a while to load. Um, here we go, okay, that's us at the bottom. Really is slow, you can see how slow. Um, I don't know which one, I'm pretty sure it's the fact that I've got Loom running as well and it's just slowing this whole thing down doesn't make it very exciting for building, doing building public projects. Um, let me just get to the bottom of this post. Let's just skip. This is actually quite a long post. It was all about creating um, a little SaaS app. So let's hit the bottom here. Let's go down, press enter a couple of times, and then we'll paste that in. And we should then see my author link in there like so. And what I'll probably do is I'll start opening this in another window so that I have my footer and my author bio ready to copy in at any point. So that's probably the best thing I'll do. So I need to put my footer into this as well. Um, and then I need to go through all the posts and do that. So there's one done. And you can see if we go back up, um, I think, okay, I didn't do a count on this database, but yeah, it's about 100 and something posts. So I've got to go through and fix all those. I'm gonna be probably just doing this over time. Um, it's not something I'm going to spend doing just on these videos. So that's the first thing I'm doing that for my footer and my author bio. So I'm using synced blocks in Notion and I'm pasting those into all my pages that have a footer, which is every page. And then my blog posts I'm putting in my author bio. The reason is that is I want to link people back to maybe my about page. So they can just see what I do. And there's always a link to one of my lead magnets somewhere throughout the site. So that's how I'm doing my author, yeah, my author bio and my footers.